My name is Greg Miller. I'm with PerfectShotsPhotography.com, and today we're showing you a uh, bracket uh, for off-flash photography made by Custom Bracket. It is the CB Digital T, um, and this is to get the uh, the flash up off the camera at a higher angle, uh, so that you get a more natural-looking light when you're taking pictures uh, indoors. Uh, you can use it for outdoors as well. Uh, this is actually a tall model, um, and the reason it's a tall model is for uh, large uh, full-frame uh, cameras or cameras that actually have a battery grip on the bottom of them so you have plenty of space up here to uh, be able to see your readouts and use your dials and all that stuff. Today we got an Nikon D4 on here you see I've got plenty of room. Um, this is also a flip so once you mount your flash up here you can flip it back and forth. Um, down on here you do have your key screw uh, to screw right into your camera body. Um, you've also got down here a uh, a screw hole for actually mounting your um, uh, right into your tripod. If you have a quick release plate, you can mount that in there too. I've got a Manfrotto, works perfectly on that. So um, up here, uh, you've actually got some uh, anti-twist um, brackets for anything that you put up here, and you also have your uh, key screw up here as well. Um, the only thing this does not come with is it does not come with the unit up here. You do. You will have to buy one. Um, I actually went with the custom bracket FTJR um, flash bracket. Um, it's actually already got a little hook on the top of here, a little uh, cavity, if you will, so that actually fits on. And don't actually need to use these twist brackets. But if you're using something like a, um, a remote cord um, and you don't want it to twist around, you could slide these in to lock it in place. So we'll go ahead and put this on here real quick. Let's just see how this works. And then we use my flash today. This is a Nikon SB910. Um, basically any flash you put on the top of here, uh, whether you've got it wirelessly uh, or actually tether right into your camera. All you have to do is slide it in. It will stop fighting me today. There we go. Slide that right in, lock it on nice and firm in place, and that's it. You're all, you're all good to go. Very ergonomic, very comfortable. Uh, so this is your uh, landscape orientation. For portrait, all you have to do is flip it. There you go. You're ready to go. Um, nice thing about this is, see how that flash is holding even when I turn it almost upside down? Uh, this locks into place really good. Uh, I know a lot of the units that I've seen out there. Um, owners complain that they, they will slide or, or flip over when they're least expecting it, so that's a good unit. All made out of uh, metal. Like I said, the, the grip is good. Um, I picked up the actual bracket itself for uh, $50 on the internet. Uh, this little bracket here. Um, I spent a little bit more to get a little better bracket. I believe this one was about uh, $15, but you can get them online for 5 6 bucks. Uh, for just a little flash bracket uh, up there for hot shoe bracket. So that's basically my, uh, my review of uh, uh, this product, the uh, CB uh, Digital T uh, camera bracket. Uh, again, this is Greg Miller with uh, Perfect Shots Photography, and I hope you like our review.